The U.S. envoy for Afghanistan, Zalme Khalilzad, has reached Qatar. According to the U.S. State Department, Khalilzad, along with other officials, will press the Taliban to stop their offensive in Afghanistan. He will also negotiate a political settlement with the terror outfit. The State Department also said that there will be several rounds of meetings over the next three days. The focus will be on the reduction of violence, ceasefire and not recognizing a government imposed by force. India has been invited for a meeting of regional countries in Doha, which will be held later this week. Indonesia and Turkey will also participate in the talks. The invitation was extended during the visit of Qatar's special envoy for counterterrorism and mediation and conflict re resolution. Mutlaq al Khatani, the regional conference on Afghanistan is likely to take place on 12th of August. Meanwhile, U.S. President Joe Biden has defended his decision to pull out the troops from Afghanistan. The comments were made at the White House at a time when the security situation is rapidly deteriorating and the number of casualties are rising. Biden also said that the U.S. will keep its commitment to provide air support, but Afghan leaders must come together and fight for themselves. Afghan leaders have to come together. We lost thousands, lost death and injury, thousands of American personnel. They've got to fight for themselves, fight for their nation. The United States, I'll insist we continue to keep the commitments we made of providing close air support, making sure that their Air Force functions and is operable, resupplying their forces with food and equipment and paying all their salaries. But they've got to want to fight. They have outnumbered the Taliban, and I'm getting daily briefings. I think there is still a possibility you have a, a significant new Secretary of Defense, our equivalent of Secretary of Defense in Afghanistan, Bushmoa Khan, who's a serious fighter. I think they're beginning to realize they've got to come together politically at the top. And, uh, but we're going to continue to keep our commitment. But I do not regret my decision. Meanwhile, U.S. has issued another fresh warning to the Taliban that any government that comes to power through force will not be recognized internationally. Order for us and for our allies and partners uh, to be able to recognize any future government of Afghanistan and to provide assistance to it. Uh, it must emerge from a political settlement that meets five criteria. First, it must be inclusive. Second, it must respect the rights of all Afghans, including women and minorities. Third, it allows the Afghan people to have a say in choosing their leaders. Fourth, it must prevent Afghan soil from being used to threaten the United States uh, and its allies and partners. And fifth and finally, it must respect its, its commitments in terms of international law and international humanitarian law. Beyond is now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the news on the move.